Hi, and welcome back to Thai TV. My name is Stefan Jensen from Fly Dressing, and today I'm going to show you how to tie a sunker bait fish. A sunker bait fish I'm using on the coastline mainly for, for sea trout, but it works with, yeah, well, every, every species that eats fish. Um, we're going to make it like this, where we're going to change the body to a le little bit more bright color. So let's get started. The hook I'm using is a Partridge Attitude Streamer, size number two. You can use whatever size hook you want, uh, depending on, on the size of the fly that you want to tie. For the sunker wing, I'm using a mink sunker. And the length of the, of the fur is perfect for this type of fly and this size of flies, but you can use a possum, you could use rabbit sunker, whatever you want. But I, I prefer the mink sunker for, for this type of fly. So let's try it. Attach your thighing thread to the hook. I'm using a, a clear, a clear thighing, thighing thread. Uh, it makes it more or less invisible when you tie it. That's on. Go all the way down to, to the hook bend. Don't go down in the hook bend. You want it to be on the shank of the hook. You don't want to go down. Um, so that's just before the barb on this hook, or just about where the barb is. Find a suitable piece of sunker. What I want is, I want it to be about one centimeter from where I tie it on the hook. So about one centimeter, and I want to tape, I want to bake the back of it, slightly tape it. I just take my scissor from one side and I tape it down so it gets slim. Right there. That gives the fly a better better body and swims better. Do the same from the other side. Now press the fur in and cut it up. Like that. Remove the loose stuff like that. So you, s you trimmed it down so it gets slim towards the back of the sunker. That makes it make, gives it a better profile. Measure it in so you got about one centimeter or whatever you want. I prefer one one centimeters approximately. Um, open it up. Sometimes it's easier with a dubbing needle just to pull the fur up like that. There, there you go. And then just tie it in firmly on top. And pull it properly. Keep the pressure on the thread, lift it up and move it forward in front of the sunker because this one is going to be on top. So we need to secure that first and then we're going to put it on top of the of the body. Rib. We need something to rib. There it is. And we tie that in as well. back again. All the way back, you want to go all the way in. Like that. We add a little bit of super glue. Makes the fly a lot more, a lot stronger. Not too much, it just, it's like that. And then it's time for the body. Just need to make sure that the glue is actually done. Perfect. Squeeze it between your fingers and push your thumb away from you and pull your 
finger to watch you. So you turn it around the thread like that. Don't take too much. It's better to put on a second layer than have a big bulk. Forward. Again. Then I go back again to make the the perfect shape of the of the body and I need more layers to to work with it. A little bit more done. Just go back and forwards. That's the perfect thing with it, with, with with a clear a clear thread as well. It, it, even if if there's no dub it won't be visible. You won't see the thread. Go, 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 go. Here we try to, to make it a bit thicker towards the head of the fly. Don't go all the way up, but I need some room for, for the head as well. about three or four millimeters in front for the head. Take your sunker down, strip, pull the fur backwards and just tie it in. Now it's too long but it doesn't matter. You just cut off the rest of it. Make sure it's on top. It doesn't Go on the side of it. There you go. Tie it down. Then I actually go back a little bit, just pushing the fur backwards. Open it up. And very firmly pull your the line. Do that with maybe three, four millimeters in between. Don't be too afraid of some fur getting caught. You can pull it out later. But be sure that the sunk is on top and doesn't go on one side. Keep the pressure at all time. Go up again. Down. part of it and secure that it is was your thread I know that this is way too long but I need something to to grab onto I can't have the exact amount of of line because it was just I won't have anything to to grab onto cut it off a little bit of super, super glue. Yep. Now we're going to make a loop to to spin some of the fur, the mink fur, and use it as a head. And tie, take your thread all the way up. Here I got my loop, and I need my dubbing twister. Then this one is just going to hang there for a while. Take about two centimeters of of the sunk it, cut it like that. And I always use some kind of clamp to to hold it like that. Pull it out so it's the same length. and remove the skin part of it. 
It's easier with a long scissor. Just like that. Here you gotta be a bit cautious. You gotta place it in your loop without it falling out. You wanna hold it like that. Keep the pressure on it all time and don't speak too much actually. And try to push it all the way up and make it quite slim. Like that. You don't want too much hair to be on this side because that will just make the the core of the loop too thick. Like that. Twist it. If you see that there's a big box um, in here, you can just take your dubbing needle and pull it up. Do that. Every now and then, just go up and down like this. And pin pull it out. Give it some good turns. Don't go too far so it's going to break, but you need to make it properly. There you go. That's alright. Pull all of the fur backwards when you go around making the head. So every new layer is in front. Like this. And you just go all the way up to the front. If you haven't got room for, for all of it, cut it off. This is too much. I'm gonna lose the last the last layer. Secure it. And remove the loop. Tie it in. Firm. Like that. And some glue. I'll just put it on the thread. And pull it firmly. Like that. Take your dubbing brush. brush out the, the body so you get this contrast like that. So. then again I go with a little bit of glue just before I'm gonna put a head on it if you glue it it's easier to work with the, the UV um, glue later on. Just hold it in the shape that you want it and dot the glue onto the head. Just like that. One side. can still work it as you want. They have to be perfect. Place a couple of eyes in the right size. I'm using for this size, I'm using 5.1 millimeters. I always use my dubbing needle to, to place them. Put the fly, it's easy to put the fly straight like that and you know they are going to be centered. there and then again the same thing on the other side turn it place it quick check that's all right then it's time for uv clear fly finish here i'm gonna use the loon thin one 
I'm not going to add a lot. I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm actually using a toothpick because they are disposable when you're done. Um, so I'm just going to... This one is very thin. It's more like glue. You can see it actually drops. I'm just going to put a drop on. Some drops on here. A bit too much to handle. Like that. And place it between the eyes. A bit more. I'm going to take my UV lamp. I'm using a UV lamp with a foot pill because I'm, used, I'm tying quite a lot of flies. So um, this, this one is extremely powerful and works very well. You can use a normal UV, UV lamp as well. Do the same thing on the other side. Fire it up for a couple of seconds. Do that. And then we're ready for the last layer. To build up the head of the shape of that. Go a little bit further back. But pull the fur up, pull it as you want it, and burn it. Perfect. And well, a little easy tied sunker. Um, this fly. There's so much, so much, uh, so many people speaking about all of this uh, UV light and how it affects the fish and even if I haven't put any UV of fluorescent into this flight, I actually got it anyway. These eyes, um, the epoxy eyes, the green in them are reacting to, to the UV light. I can show you. So even if I haven't added anything else, we still got the effect of the UV uh, in the eyes and that it's going to be enough on this fly. So, um, thank you for watching, and make sure to watch the other episodes in Thai TV in the, in the playlist and uh, tight lines.